sub YouTube, uh, 1982 Cadillac Fleetwood. There is a parasitic drain on the battery. Um, we hooked up this cheap multimeter on the amperage. We put the positive lead on the amp uh, connector and then set the multimeter to the amp setting. Then we hook up one lead to, we disconnect the negative, hook up one lead to that negative part of the battery and the other lead to the ground or you could hook it up back to the ground cable itself. That way the multimeter is in line of the, of the draw of the car. So then we started taking one fuse out at a time. This was at like 0.2 amps draw. And then we took out the body fuse, which is a 20 amp, and it dropped down to what you see right now, 0 0.01. So we knew that somewhere in the body circuit, there was a parasitic draw. So I went on to the, to the wiring diagram. The wiring diagram says, Um, for fuse, for fuse, uh, the body fuse, the body fuse, uh, out of the fuse box is an orange wire and it goes to interior lights to dig this one's fuel injected. So it goes to digital fuel injection sensors, which is just the park neutral switch. It goes to interior lights and the electronic level control, which is like a compressor. More interior lights, and then power door locks, automatic door locks, theft deterrent system. And then over here it goes to like more, uh, more power locks and stuff. So I was following the interior uh, circuit. Um, to see where that wire goes and it goes to like all the lights all the interior lights the cigarette or not the the rear cigarette lighters the passenger door cigarette lighter uh, the map lights at the top of the ceiling uh, and then the the door the door courtesy lights and then the door jam switches so I disconnected all of these to eliminate the possible draw, like if it was making a shore or something. But it wasn't bringing down the amps like when you take a, off the fuse. So I kept looking, kept looking, and, and I guess under courtesy, there's something called a illuminated entry timer that also goes off of the 20 amp body fuse, it's an orange. This is under the dash. And uh, this has like a, a resistor that appears to have gone bad. I'll show you guys. This resistor right here, you could tell it kind of, uh, it burned a spot right there. But this is, I guess, a timer, like when you hit, when you hit the button, it's supposed to illuminate for like 30 seconds and then shut off so you could see inside and see, sorry about that, and so you could see the keyhole. I guess this is supposed to illuminate, but this is an old car so it doesn't but that little box is way down here it was like somewhere in here I had to disconnect I had to disconnect this whole harness I had to just 
this this one was bolted right there and then that's the, the actual connector for the timer and then over here are the fuses that we started disconnecting one by one um, there's that blue body it's supposed to be a 20 but it's a 15 uh, that they put in there so we disconnected one by one until we noticed that amp draw drop and then we we looked at the wiring harness and that is that timer is what was causing the draw because I guess it always has power so if you look at the dash it will be up in there somewhere but yeah once I disconnected that there's no more there's no more like high amperage draw in the system this is kind of what the housing looks like this was this was inside of the housing like this but yeah that's kind of how I had to figure out I disconnected all the power locks on that power lock it has a cigarette lighter on that side. I disconnected that. I disconnected this cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter over there. And there's like a, a level sensor on the axle on the bottom. Disconnected that. I disconnected the, the compressor pump because that has an orange wire on it because it's part of the system. But it still wasn't bringing down the amp. See right now it's up because the lights are on. Alright, hope that helps you guys. You Cadillac guys. Alright, peace out YouTube.